Good morning all, hope you are well. It's not often that I get to have my first pipe of the day at home. It's usually in the car. This morning, I'm gonna have a Latakia blend. And I'm going to be smoking some of Art's Bernaget blend. Barnegat, Barnegat blend from Casa di Monte Cristo. I believe that's in New Jersey. And I'm going to be smoking it in the Fabrizio Natalizia apple, lovely little pipe. With some coffee, of course, goes without saying. some moistness there. I'm not going to put too much out in case I'm not really in the mood. I'm kind of feeling like I'm in the mood but I'm not entirely sure. I've hardly touched Latakia recently. Anyway so what I wanted to get on and tell you was um, to give you some options now that um, we can't buy from the Danish pipe shop. No, we can't buy tobacco. They still ship all of the uh, pipes and accessories worldwide. I'm not sure about lighters, but they certainly do ship all the other accessories. And it's still an awesome resource for pipes, obviously. So what I wanted to show you is a couple of the websites that I've been looking at. This one is Fifem Depot, which is spelled P F E I F E N Depot D E P O T T dot D E for Deutsche Lande, Deutschland. So it's a German website, and um, I've just uh, come onto the front page, and something very interesting to a lot of you will be the Dunhill replacements that they've got. So Robert McConnell, you have. Um, Virginia five years matured, which will be a match for the three year matured. Robert McConnell's old sign, which is a ye old sign. And you can see that the design of the tins is on all of them is very similar. The coloring will be reminiscent of the original. So you can't really mistake which one you're actually looking at. Virginia five year matured, which I think the McDonald one is three year matured, if I'm not mistaken. Appetizer is called the appetizer. A very original title. So you can see oh, it's going standard medium, same colouring. So you get the drift. So certainly a worthwhile place to look at. The pricing is very good, certainly compared um, to UK prices. 13 euros 60. I don't know what the shipping costs are yet. I haven't done an order with them yet, as yet. Um, Okay, I just realized it wasn't in focus. Well, there you go. You can see it now. Uh, I'll just click on one or two of them again so you can see them. The old, the old sign. Let's just go a little bit deeper. And I'm not big on German, on the German language. There's some English there, but it is German. So other product will be all products, aroma, which will be uh, aromatics, pipes, so pipes they've got Ashton, Chris Morgan, Di Damiano Rovera, Giordano, Hans Gunther Nosk, Mastro Baraldi and Rattrays. Let's have a look at Ashton's, good old English pipes. Xenophobic Miroir? Never. So that's your uh, pretty typical Ashton's of the current uh, iteration. Um, let's just find the tobaccos. T 
Tabak. Fife and Tabak Pipe Amphora. Oh, let's just go up a bit so we can see the nah. Tabak. Let's just click on Pipe Tobacco and see what we've got. 529 pipe tobaccos. Awesome. Amphora, um, Amsterdam, Ashton, Bentley, Caledonian, Capstan, Danish Dice, Danish Mixture, Danske Club, Dan Tobacco, that's good stuff. Um, Erin Moore, Dunhill, let's see what they've got left of Dunhills. Vintage Blends. So they've still got Dark Flake, Durbar, Elizabethan, if any, oh no, discontinued out of stock, sorry, I wasn't reading that properly. So they've got Dark Flake, which doesn't surprise me. Mixture 221B, 221B. Aperitif is out of stock. Three Immature is also out of stock. Baby's Bottom is out of stock. Ready Rubbed is in stock. And the old Sign is also out of stock. Okay. Well, you can see that they're uh, pretty much. There's a bit left. Early morning pipe out of stock. Downhill flake out of stock. London mixture is in stock. Navy rolls is out of stock. Kill surprise. Nine six five out of stock. Nightcap out of stock. Royal yacht out of stock. Okay, so all the faves have gone on this particular website. Let's see what else we've got that's interesting here. Collas and Cop, so they will have, we'll go back to that in a second. Let's have a look how much the golden sliced is. 1160 for a 50 gram tin, very good. That's a good price. That is a good price. Okay, let's go back to Dunhill. Actually, Peterson is a good shout because they were having a little bit of uh, flux at the moment, and I'm not sure. I'm a bit nervous. I shouldn't be, but I am. Just, it's a feeling in my bones. I have heard that some of the, the, the uh, shops have had trouble getting new supplies, but that could just be while they transition over to the new owners. I think they were warned that that would be the case. So hopefully nothing to panic about for those Peterson lovers out there. I'm fortunate that I'm not one of those. Ah, oh, that's embarrassing. I've got the little triangle down below which means that I'm offline. So we call that a day. It does that at the most inop inopportune times. And perhaps I'll do a, a little website, um, a European website uh, tour and see which ones are worth looking at and I'll prepare in advance. So there we go. All right, well, it looks like I'm back online now, hang on. All right, sorry, um, I apologize if this is a bit boring because it's a little bit unprepared, but um, there we go. So all the Peterson stuff here I can see is in stock. Irish Flake is in stock, 11.50, pretty good. I tried Irish Flake last night, old Dublin. So they've got a few Peterson blends in. They've got uh, nine at the moment. All right. Solani, let's see if they've got Silver Flake. Yes, they've got Silver Flake at an excellent price. I'm going to have to do an order and see what the de delivery is like and how long it takes. W.O. Larson. Somebody was asking about winter blends or Christmas blends and uh, W.O. Larson is a good address to look at for good quality aromatics, I think. Samuel Gareth, 27 blends. What about, see they won't have um, the, the BS flake, the brown sugar flake, because that was exclusive to the Danish pipe shop. I wonder what's gonna happen with that. I wonder, that's going to become even harder to get than before. Okay. 
Right, so we're just going to go back at the collars and cop, and then I'll let you go. There we go. Oh, there's only one. Limited edition. No, that's not what we're looking for. So let's look at Robert McConnell. So we've got here Black Flake, which presumably is Dark Flake. City of London, not sure which one that is. Durbo, early morning pipe called Early Bird. Eclipse, that looks like it's Dunhill Navy Rolls. Dunhill Flake, standard mixture. And Eliz Elizabethan. So there's a, the, all the favorites look like they're there and they're probably worth a try to see if they're any good. I shall have to try and uh, avail myself of some of these to uh, help you guys out with that. Let you know if it's worth pursuing. Right, well, I've loaded up my pipe. some of this uh, Barnegat on the road. Mm, that sweet smoky lattic here, as soon as it hits you, that's good stuff. Quite a woodsy start, this tobacco. It's quite mulchy, damp, forest floor kind of flavour, which is a mixture of the smokiness, the Orientals, and the Virginias. This is actually pretty darn delicious. I'm grateful to Art, to Art once again. Gave me a very nice, that's not a sample, that's uh, something like a four ounce bag or something. Very, very generous as always. Thank you, Art. And it's actually lasting longer because I'm not really smoking it too often. But when I when I do smoke it, it's really good stuff. I think it's. I think I I did say when I first smoked it that it's it's milder somewhat than Northwoods. But I think it's also smoother. I think it's also got better balance. It's more harmonious. I'm not sure. I haven't smoked it enough to say for sure. But I could get used to this. Mm. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful day. I'll catch you on the next one. Fans on. Catch you later. <laughs>